Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for joining me can I just say I'm nearly at 200 subscribers how cool is that so a massive thank you to everyone who's subscribed honestly it really really means a lot to me anyway I'm Katie and today I'm playing with those brushos again so as you can see we've got a bit of a Art Nouveau vibe going on here and I thought I would pay homage to a unicorn but without actually drawing a unicorn because I did draw quite a lot of them during Inktober right and I wanted her headdress to perhaps symbolize the unicorn's horn and her to have this lovely flowing mane so to speak. What I decided to do to perhaps reduce the reactivation of the brushos is add a tiny tiny little bit of acrylic matte medium to it and hopefully once it's dry it's going to stay put a little better. I'd also mask down certain areas which include the face and the headdress oh and her ears as well because I can forgive it going on the hair a little bit but not on the face and what you'll see here and I might have a proper video where I play about with these I'm still getting my head around them but I have some Stuart Semple powder paints and what I did was heavily watered those down and again just added the tiniest smidgen of matte medium just to keep it all in place and once that was dry it just added that nice sort of luminous value which I've used with the fluorescent watercolours which I've done videos on prior to this. I really just like adding that bit of an underpainting to it because it just, I don't know, it just makes it pop out a little bit more and add a little bit more zing. And then I've gone back in with the brushes to add some hair details, which I'm pretty happy with actually. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do a nice job of it, but I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So I've removed some of the masking fluid well, I think I have it's a bit weird doing this in hindsight so I think I moved it from where the horn is and I'm now working on the background I don't know why I decided to do that but there we are and I mixed a skin tone using a very 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 light mixture of oranges and reds because this stuff is potent seriously a couple of granules and you've got way too much much more than you need so I'm still kind of figuring out what the optimum amount is to use however it like I've said it can be reactivated so it's super useful if you just keep your palette where it is and then add a few drops of water you're kind of back to back to the beginning with it which is good so I believe it was Thanksgiving yesterday to all of my US subs out there. I hope you had a nice time and you ate too much and just did whatever it is you wanted to do. We don't celebrate it here in the UK, but we do jump on board with the Black Friday stuff. So there we go. Although, to be honest, this year, I, there's not really anything that I want from Black Friday. I think, I think I've kind of got enough stuff. But, you know, let me know in the comments, though, if you've picked up any good bargains, any good arty bargains, and I might look into it, we'll have a look. But uh, so far, there's not really anything. There's not really anything I've needed replacing either, so I, I haven't even been able to sort of take advantage of the usefulness of it. I guess when January comes round, which isn't that far away, I'll probably jump on board the New Year's sales and see if there's anything there. But to be honest, for now... I'm pretty good for stuff, so there's just no need. Oh, I had to draw the most complicated headdress, didn't I? Well, it is for my skill level at the moment. Uh, it's been a while since I've gone really niggly with detail on drawings, so that might be something I come back to. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I can't tell you how it confusing it was for me to try and draw out all of those little individual strands. But I'm glad I did. And to mask it off, just to help keep the details in there, I used some... I used one of those masking fluid pens. And I've had mixed experiences with them. The ones with the super fine, like, tip 
a little light you see with the finest poskas. I have nothing but trouble with them. So I decided to try a fibre tip and I was a bit sceptical because I thought it had all gunk up on the nib but actually it was alright and I, I managed to get the amount of detail in there despite having a thicker nib. So what you'll notice, and I kind of wanted this to feature in the video because I do find them really useful but I was actually a bit disappointed for this picture and I think maybe for the underquilt I'd probably added too dark of a pigment but what I'm adding now is it's like Brusho, it's made by the same company but it's got, um, I think it's got mica powders in it or mica powders and it just didn't show up very much so what I decided to do was get the Van Gogh iridescent colour shift watercolours out and add that in and I actually am really happy with the colour layout on this it's still a bit on the subtle side but I think I think that works well I mean it's very purple this picture but it's quite muted in the areas where I want it to be so you've got that contrast of the face and the hair and everything else So I can't believe that in a couple of days it's going to be December, which is like, where's the year gone, right? So I'm thinking about, and I'm not going to promise to be as diligent as I was over in October, but I have bought an advent calendar with items in it and it's just a bit of fun. I'm not really doing anything uber serious here, but I'm gonna open each door and do a daily thing. It's not Vlogsmas, but it's as close as you're gonna get from me as a Vlogsmas. They're all gonna be quick videos and it's gonna be whatever's in the door and whatever medium I fancy using. So it might be ink, it might be paint, it might be colored pencils, it could be anything. And I'm gonna start posting them from Sunday because that's the 1st of December. I can't believe where this year's gone. It's really been like one of those years where such a lot's happened and I guess time's just passed by real quickly, right? Now, despite already popping the outline down with a liner pen, I decided to go around the majority of it again with a eight sized nib and that's using the uni pen and I think it just sort of adds that Art Nouveau quality that sort of thick lined outline I guess and then using a finer pen for details within those lines God, that sounds really complicated doesn't it but I hope you know what I mean when I say that and I really like the effect it is it just sort of adds a really nice contrast between the thick outlines and the heavy colours on the outside and then the delicate ones to match her face and I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. And now I'm just adding the highlights with my trusty white gel pen. They're so useful, aren't they? And I know it's going over the metallic paint, but I quite like the fact it adds an additional highlight. It just makes everything just pop out that little bit more. Let me know if you want me to do more stuff with metallic watercolours, because I do have quite a few different ones and it would be quite interesting just to do a bit of a comparison and just see how I use them and apply them. Let me know if you'd be interested in me doing a video on that soon, because I'm kind of keep eyeing them up. The Van Gogh ones are my favourite, but I do have others. Anyway, here's some masking tape peel. Can I just say, I really like this well, it's washi tape actually. I got it off AliExpress, it was so cheap. I love, I love cheap supplies like that, it's so useful. Anyway, 
here's the finished result. Now, I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and hello to new subscribers again. Thank you so much for jumping on board. Honestly, it really does mean so much to me. If you've not subscribed though, hit the subs button. There's loads of videos on my channel now if you want to have a little catch up and don't forget to hit like if you've enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye.